Hey guys, welcome back to Fashion with Bryce. Welcome back to Fishing Talk Friday. This is going to be the second episode in the series. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five topwater baits. This is just for all around. So let's get started. First, I have a Stanley Top Toad. It's a hollow body. You have to reel it pretty fast. It has a little bit of a weighted hook. Double take hook, so this really helps for the hook sets. Show you up closer. Green, so it gives you more of a lifelike action. The two, these split very easily in the water. Gives a lot of action when it reels. I've caught a few fish on this. Not spectacular, but then again, still pretty good and it's durable and it'll last a while. So let's get on to number four. Number four, this is a Bass Pro Shop Turny Topper. It's a popper bait. It's, I usually like to walk it on top of the water, gives it a lot of action. Makes it almost look like a fish is struggling on top of the water. This is why this is such a good bait for top water. Kind of gold shiny-ish, so it makes the fish strike it. Could give a few reaction strikes depending on the time of the day. And yeah, let's get on to the next one. Number three is the Bison Valgra. This is usually supposed to be used as like a crawfish bait. But it also works very well as a topwater frog. I'll give you a closer look at it. You would just throw it on a you throw it on a Texas rig, and then you just work it on top of the water like a normal frog is, because it almost looks like a frog. When you go reel it through the water, it makes a lot of bubbles and the ridges make it kick super hard. And then this little antenna thing is also pretty cool for attracting fish. And then the bio scent, bio scent also helps so I don't have to even put scent on. And if you can see here, there's a little ridge so I can easily get a hook through it. And I really like this bait for top water. Next is a Livingston Pro Sizzle. This is a spook walking type bait. What's really cool about Livingston, they're pretty expensive, but they're really cool baits. What happens is when it's in the water, this, I'm pretty sure this one is, it's four seconds of bait fish sound, four seconds of silence, and there's a little red light that lights up at the end. It's really cool. So, and I caught a few fish on this. It's, I'm pretty sure this is going to last a while, and I can basically cast it miles, so I can cover a lot of water with this if I'm trying to find out where they are. Last but not least, my most favorite topwater bait is a buzzbait. This is an orange and black, kind of gives it almost like a crawfish type color. What I sometimes like to do, if you set it in front of the fan, let it just run for a while, or keep on running. And you also clamp down the end, gives it a lot more squeak on top of the water. I've caught one of my largest bass, smallmouth bass, using the same buzzbait. Gives a lot of the placement in the water. You can also cast it pretty far for how light it is. But I suggest throwing it mostly on a spinning rod. This is, I just love top water bite because they come out of the water. And it's the coolest thing to also watch on video. So I'll try and get some video of me getting some top water. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this Fish and Talk Friday. Uh, just comment below what your favorite top water bait is and what I should talk about next Fish and Talk Friday. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.